Hello again, this is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sertucci. I've got a little deal that we have actually seen ourselves. We've always heard that, you know, fish can be deterred from biting your hook because, you know, something may be wrong with it. And or two, you know, you'll buy a certain style of hooks and then after one use they start to rust. And it's basically because they have been designed to fall away from the fish if they're broken off or stay in the fish somehow, some way. Now, at the same time, too, you know, that can be very, very costly. So we came up with a way to actually do a little um, protection on your hooks. The main portion is right here, right at the end of your leader is your hook. See that little bit of rust? I don't know if you can see very well or not, but I will do some close-up pictures here in a little bit. And you will see there's rust on it. Now these are pretty expensive hooks, however, with rust on it, I've actually seen where I've done 25 five foot plus sharks on one liter in a weekend. And I've actually seen where the bite completely stopped on that one reel. And so everybody starts to wonder what's going on and we're we wanted to come up with the answer that, well, the fish have stopped biting. Well, that's not the answer because rods to the right and to the left of it were still going off. So we knew the fish bite was still happening, but there was something on the leader or something going on. Maybe it was out of bait. We pull it back in, it still got a good chunk of bait on it. So the next thing I remembered was rust. Rust has always been a deterior for sharks. Bull reds are kind of the same way at the same time, but we've heard it more for sharks. And so what I did was I got some simple scotch Bright to find at any convenience store, and this will be a real good one to start with. I got several hooks here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of corrosion care right here on both my hooks. Right. And then we're going to coat them using a Sharpie. The Sharpie actually acts very well to protect your hooks. And also, too, if you know you're going to storm and don't like rust on your gear, you do a little proper maintenance with your hook before you store it, well, then it's ready for your next trip, and you don't have to do this as soon as you get there. This is the hook we're starting with, and you're going to give it a little bit of corrosion prevention. Oh, oh a lot better. Look at that. And as you notice, a few strokes and it's getting the hook quite clean. This is an old one, obviously. Here's a new one. That's the new one. These are the refurbished ones right there. And if you can see, I think they look better than the new one. There you go. Refurbished your new hook and your old hooks. Good way to save some money. Preventative maintenance will go a long way in saving your gear from getting a bad tainted rusted hook in there and or hooking yourself with a rusted hook but also too to improve your fishing because at the end of the day when you spend a lot of money on gear you want to be able to catch fish don't let your hooks get in the way of that here's team hard life captain Albert Zertucci 
thank you again for tuning in on us and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe below and give us a thumbs up let us know how we're doing we'll see you on the next show you have a good one